Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, the variables on both sides. So I have an equation here that I'm going to solve for x. Uh, I like to kind of think through three big steps, three major uh, phases as I solve equations. The first one is to eliminate any big fraction bars. I don't even have fractions in this one, so I move on to step two. Simplify each side of the equals separately. So if this is my equals, okay, dividing my right side from my left side, if I look at just the left side individually, I have a variable term and a constant term. They're not like terms, so I can't combine them or simplify them. So there's nothing I can do there. Similar situation on the right. I have one x term or variable term, one constant term without a variable. Uh, they're not like terms, so I can't combine them or simplify them, so I just move on through phase two and start with phase three here. Get the variable by itself. So since I have x's on both sides of my equation, I need to zero out one of these terms or eliminate one of these terms. It doesn't really matter which one, okay? I could pick either. I like to kind of just keep my x's on the left side, so I'm going to zero out this one. So the opposite of negative 12x is positive 12x. If I combine those two together, okay, then those eliminate, right? They go to zero, and all I'm left with on the right side is the 62. Okay, over here, though, to keep my equation balanced, since I added 12x on the right side, I have to balance it out now by adding 12x on the left side, okay? So negative 5x plus 12x, that leaves me with 7x's on the left plus 6. Okay, now I have successfully um, taken steps, right, to eliminate the x term on one side, and I only have x's over here on the left now. Now, before I can keep getting the x by itself, I'm going to have to do two more steps here. One to get rid of this plus 6, and another step to get rid of that 7 right there. Before I start working on this term that has the x in it, I want to get rid of anything else that's on this side of the equation. So the next thing I'm going to do is zero out or eliminate that plus 6 by subtracting 6. Okay, and again, That'll zero that out or eliminate it from the left side, leaving me with just 7x. But to keep my equation balanced, I also have to subtract 6 on the right. And 62 minus 6 is 56. Um, lastly, now I can deal with the number that's attached directly to the x, okay? And this is implied multiplication, right? There's kind of a hidden uh, multiplication there. It's 7 times x. So the inverse is to divide by 7, divide by 7, keeping my equation balanced by doing the same thing on the other side. And that leaves me with just x on the left equals, and 56 minus, or excuse me, divided by 7 is 8. And once I have the x all by itself, then I know my solution, x equals 8.